craftivism is exactly what it sounds like. The term combines the two roots, roots of the concept, craft and activism, demonstrating their unity to promote nonviolent social change. In short, craftivism is, is the act of using craft to make a statement, spread awareness, alleviate a problem, or otherwise inspire a, or create change. While the term was coined by activist and craft enthusiast Betsy Greer in 2003, the actual practice has been around since way before that. Craftivist roots can be traced back throughout history, as across cultures and years, people have used their own creativity to promote social change. It has provided a particularly important outlet for women to have their voices heard, especially in time periods where women were not permitted to stand up publicly. Women crafted supplies during World War I and II, as well as raised money for the wounded through auctioning off crafts. Most notably, a handmade quilt that raised considerable funds toward the cause. In the 1960s, a Canadian group called Voice of Women for Peace needed camouflage baby clothes and mailed them to Vietnam in order to make a statement about the immortality of the Vietnam War. Or immorality of the Vietnam War, not immortality. By the early 2000s, craftivism had evolved into a voice of its own, a, dist a distinct statement separate from other voice forms of activism. In 2002, a visual artist named Kat Maza unified knitters around the world in creating a knitted petition against Nike, whose labor practices were deeply unethical. Most, more recently, the United States watched a, a wave of pussy hats swap, um, sweep across the country as people fought back against President Trump's derogatory treatment of women. Craftivism has, been, has become a peaceful, deeply personal form of protest that unifies activists around the world. Although it may seem ineffective or even laughable, the significance of embroidering a message or creating a piece of art that provides commentary on the present social issue isn't small at all. Simple though it, though it appears, the hard work that is required by craftivism demands a great attention to detail and commitment to the point you are making. Craftivism is worth it. Does that answer your question, Ozzy? Does it? Does it? Oh, good boy! <laughs>